Hello, I'm Professor John Kelly, and this is the Weber Auto YouTube channel. I'm sitting next to a brand new 2026 Tesla Model Y. It was just released last month, and this particular one is my wife's. And she's allowed me to uh, do some experiments on it, but I wanted to show you a new low voltage battery that comes in some of these t Model Ys, and then show you some of the previous batteries that have come in the Model Y uh, as well. The new Model Y, along with the 2025 older style Model Y, can come with two different low voltage batteries. So there's the lithium ion low voltage battery that we've had around since November of 2021. And prior to that, the Model Y had a lead acid battery, a great big lead acid battery. So this lightweight little 16 volt uh, battery has been in these cars along with the Model 3 S and X since then. But now uh, I saw in the electronic parts catalog and in the service information under theory of operation that there's a new lithium iron phosphate 12 volt battery and it's a 12.8 volt battery. So this car next to me here came with this 12.8 volt battery but you could also get the same car with the 16 volt lithium ion battery. That means this car is able to support either the 16 volt battery or the 12.8 volt battery. The 16 volt battery runs around 15.5 volts with the vehicle uh, on and functioning and about a 79% state of charge. The lithium iron phosphate battery runs at 100% state of charge and around 14.4 volts. So the on-car systems that control the low voltage, the uh, power conversion system, the PCS, and the, the front vehicle controller have to adapt, and you have to let it know which battery you've put in it. There's an electrical connector that allows either battery to be supported, although the new battery has two extra terminals that the old battery does not. It has pretty much the same connector, except it allows for the new battery or the old battery uh, to plug in. So if we look under the hood here, or the front trunk here on this new Model Y, uh, you can see the, the low voltage battery right here. Get my head out of the way. Right there, I have installed the lithium ion uh, battery. And I tried to order the 12.8 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate battery uh, from the Tesla parts catalog. And instead, I ended up with this battery that's here in the car. And I didn't pay attention to the part, the electronic parts catalog uh, description when I ordered it. Uh, I ordered the correct battery, the 12.8 the, uh, volt one, but it substituted this other battery instead. So I don't know if that's just because of part shortages or whatever's going on, but um, I thought, well, I've got this other battery. Uh, this one's brand new. Uh, I'm going to try swapping it out and seeing what it takes to make that 16 volt battery work in a car that came with a 12.8 volt battery. And so I'll show you how we did that and what functions are necessary to swap uh, batteries. Okay, before removing the original 12.8 volt LFP battery, I went into service mode to look at the system voltage of the low voltage battery of the power conversion system in the back and of the vehicle controller in the front of the vehicle because I wanted to compare that with the new battery that I put in. To remove the low voltage battery, we go to the safety menu on the touch screen, scroll to the bottom and select power off. After that, we go to the low voltage battery itself, slide the green eCPA clip to the left side of the vehicle and then push the tab while pulling on the black sleeve and it will unplug the electrical connector from the battery. Lift the connector and set it off to the side. Next, go to the underhood cut loop and disconnect the single tan wire electrical connector to disable the high voltage system. Remove the previous battery and install the new battery and plug in the electrical connector, including the green eCPA clip that I left disconnected in this photo. Reconnect the single tan wire at the underhood high voltage cut loop to enable the high voltage system.
power on the vehicle and enter the service mode. Select low voltage and then power distribution. You can see we have a low voltage battery fault here because it thinks it's the old battery. So now we will click learn new battery to let it know that we've changed it. After the learn new battery procedure is complete, it tells us to perform a software reinstall to update the low voltage battery BMS system. To reinstall software, go to the service mode main menu and select software reinstalled on the lower right corner of the screen. Select reinstall for CAN ECU and let the reinstall complete. It can take quite a long time for the software reinstall to complete. After the software reinstalls, it can take a little while for the low voltage battery state of charge to come up to where it should be. On this particular battery, it should only go up to around 79%, but as you can see here, it's showing 98%. It took several hours for the battery state of charge to level out and become really close to the 79% that it should be. Okay, so just a reminder that the 16 volt lithium ion battery can replace the 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, but not the other way around. Okay, as you can see here, I have four different low voltage batteries from Tesla vehicles. Each one of these batteries has a special replacement procedure that must be followed in the service information and in service mode to make sure that the charging system is working properly when you are finished. We learn about each of these systems and many other systems from other vehicle manufacturers in our hybrid and electric vehicle training classes. We have two online classes and then one five-day hybrid electric boot camp where you come and spend five days with me here on campus. During the summertime, uh, we usually have a spring uh, break class and a fall break class as well. So if you're interested in receiving this training, please sign up at the link shown at the top of the screen, and I hope to see you in class. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.